So I decided to make <laughs> I never started on the job. <laughs> so it's <clears throat> So I decided to do voiceover for this video. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I pray it goes well. <laughs> okay, so these are the ingredients: um, carrots, <laughs> onions. <laughs> and then how that thing they do the voiceover. <laughs> Before that, I'm making this video in my small, little, tiny hostel space. I stay in the hostel, so we're not permitted to use. A gas cooker. I mean, permitted to use gas in my hostel. So this is what we use. My pot already clean. So right now I'm a light my stove. So I'm not a chef, so my tips might look so unhealthy and unprofessional to you. Please you can do otherwise. I'm just showing you how I do mine as a student. Thank you. So the first thing is <laughs> Okay, let's be serious now. You add a boil of water, depending on the kind of scoop you are using, into the pot, then you allow it to boil. Like me now, I'm going to boil my egg alongside because <laughs> as a student, I want to save my kerosene. Now, kerosene is 900 naira per liter, so I cannot be boiling my egg separate and be boiling and then start cooking. So I just wash the back of the egg. I just wash and then cover the pots and allow it to boil so when the egg is half done i will add the macaroni in this video i don't know if i should say macaroni or pasta to it but i even wish i should say macaroni but it's not macaroni it's pasta twist step two whatever macaroni pasta twist or mm, <laughs> yeah bro so when the egg has parboiled not boiled like parboiled like half done you then put your macaroni then later you add your oil i add oil so that the macaroni will not you know gum gum no stick together <laughs> so that they will not cluster together so that they will not stick together because i just noticed that if you make it without putting oil in most cases they tend to gum together and then separating it will be kind of difficult for you you know macaroni is softer than spaghetti so you cannot you will not parboil it as long as you parboil your spaghetti so you just boil it. The thing I've boiled, oh sugo, you already seen the the what are they called? It's half boiled and they pour it out. You see the way I just sieve it out in a boil. You already see the color of my water. A little. <laughs> I don't have much oil, so I'm going to fry my plantain before I proceed. So I fry my plantain. You add. You know how to fry plantain now. Everything I call as well, I call. You add oil <laughs> into the to the pot. Allow the oil to heat. You cut your plantain into your desired slices, and then you begin to fry. Remember, this is a Nigerian student video. If these tips look so unhealthy and unprofessional to you, be cool, do otherwise. Thank you. Now that we finish frying our plantain, just reduce the oil because if you use that quantity of oil you use in frying your plantain, or more, <laughs> I don't know if it's oil you are cooking or, but shall reduce the oil. You now leave small oil in the pot. Allow it to cool small. So stage one, when you heat your oil, once the oil is, you know, more heat to go, then you pour onion. Let your onion fry. Me, I just like the, mm, the aroma yeah the aroma that comes when you fry your onion it just gives this you know it's just sweet so when you are done then you add your tomato ah when you are now the frying them together um uh, the other roommates will be like who they who they who want chocos so you just stay in this i was just asking my roommates should i stay or should i turn <laughs> my sister anyone just stay turn you know fry it until so it shrinks like as you're looking at it in the video until it shrinks and becomes like that then you can proceed into adding your desired spice for the food i use i use spices the spices um specifically for jollof rice but once i jollof i'm use you so i use spices <laughs> i added curry as well three seasoning cubes salt and you can add any other desired spice of yours but these are the ones that I used. So when you are done, you stay, you turn, you fry. 
<laughs> if you notice i'm still frying no i just like frying my ingredients like i like frying my spice because i just had this belief in my head that once you fry your spice a little like, it makes the food taste sweeter i don't know but it's just in my head though <laughs> So once you are done, you can add a little water because at this stage now, it's, it's actually burning. It's burning but it's not burning so much because I'm frying on low heat. So when you are done, you add water. I add my the peas, abi beans. I don't know the one that is which one. But I shall know that one is green beans and one is green peas. So I guess this one is the peas. I'm adding my peas now so I can cook a little bit. I don't like eating raw peas. I don't know how you guys do that, but me, it must cook. Yeah. I need it to boil a bit before we proceed. After that, when you're done making your sauce, you can now add the macaroni into the pot and then turn it, mix it very well. I didn't add much water because I don't like my macaroni being so soft because when I warm it the following day, it's now become softer. No. So let your water be small, depending on how you parboiled it initially. Then when you are done, you add your carrot. Carrot is the last thing because you know carrot, you know they had them too soft. So you add your carrots to the pot and cover allow it to boil this is how my pot of macaroni looks like so that is the end of my cooking vlog thank you so much for watching try the recipe and tell me how it turned out for you thank you so much for staying to the end of this video do well to like share subscribe and leave us a comment in the comment section you can suggest something to us thank you so much bye